so today I also on the same day I brought this magazine as well and it's got the free ultra new layered dies now I've used many um, layered stamps but I've never used layered dies so um, as soon as I saw it I thought I've got to get that one because I've um, had the free ultra new stamps before the layered ones in the magazine and they were really good so I've been playing around and these are all the stamps that I've been doing so thanks Leanne I think I, I know what I need to do I've turned down the, um, the the notification sound so hopefully that's better um, so I've got if I just take them out of the packaging just so you can see them a little bit better, better this one I love and this has just got this really lovely I do love a shaker card um, you are amazing these are the free sentiments that you can print off now you there's free papers as well but I haven't printed them off this time purely because I'm just conscious of the amount of um, uh, you know income using up on the printer and I've got loads of nice papers so um, but the thing it is good for is it tells you so on these here each one it tells you this one you you die cut with the light color this one you die cut with the dark color and this one with the medium color and you can print off blocks of color so it's already got the light dark medium for you so in that sense if you're maybe a bit unsure with what is lighter and darker and stuff because sometimes when I've been putting together like all my purples and stuff I'm unsure which one's the light one which one's the dark one um, but um it, sorry my dad's just poked his head in just checking on me and my mum um, so <laughs> for that reason have a look at them just you click on the downloads and you can see all the previews of them decide whether you want to print them off but I was pretty you know happy to just do it myself but I did like the sentiments so I've printed off three pages um, of these ones here I just really love the font and um, just think they're really quite cute little sayings so I want to do one with the sending hugs tonight and um, maybe hello beautiful I don't know I'll see what you guys think so again it's filled with inspiration it's got lots of lovely ideas and stuff in there and um, you can also print off pre um, stamped images and then just use your frame die to cut out the whole thing so again if you don't want to spend time doing all the layered dies um, you can just use the frame one there and it will kind of all do that for you really so that's what we're going to be using get rid of the magazine don't need that one out so yeah, going back to the card, so that's the shaker one there, and you, this one didn't really come out very well in the picture, uh, Nina bought the magazine today, so looking forward to trying the dies, yeah I love the dies, they're really really good, um, if I just bring this up a bit closer, you can see the detail that you get when you layer up, um, when you layer the dies up, so I was really pleased with them, and even the little leaf detail there as well is really really nice, so yeah, that is a gorgeous, gorgeous card. And then, keep myself tidy, pop all these back in again. So then I've done a easel card. And again, so this one, if I just bring that one up there, you can see I've used all the yellow tones here. And I thought yellow and navy just worked really, really well together. And, um, hey Karen! <laughs> It's one of my old school friends just popped in um, really love the little sentiment there and again just the leaves and everything and then this one just comes up pops inside like so and you've got a really beautiful easel card I seem to stick with the same kind of style cards I love shaker cards easel cards twisted easel cards um, what other one do I do a lot of I think that's about it really they're just kind of my go-to ones I'm really confident making those um, hi Kirsty love yellow and navy yeah it is just such a fun fresh kind of colors together I really like that one so that's that these are all six by six um, then this one again really lovely and the papers that I've used for this one this one and this one yeah easel cards are great Laura I need that one please which one Kirsty? I'll pop it into work tomorrow for you um, these are all using I was so excited to get these papers they are the new V&A craft papers I've got two packs of 6x6 six six, one pack of 12x12 12 12, and they are all um, featuring designs um, from the original textiles in the Victoria and Albert Museum and 
yeah I just love them I think they're gorgeous prints so I wanted to start using them so you can see them there and again these um, flowers I've used picked out three of the colours that are in the papers there and I just think again that's just got a really nice look about it yeah Margie I have to put sequins on pretty much everything I make so I'm just conscious my camera is higher up so I'm just bringing up the cards there a bit a bit further up so you can see them that's that one and then the last one is on a six by no five by seven card I believe so which ones would you like me to make tonight it's going to be um I'd really like to do the twisted easel one so if you want to see me do that one again and I can do a shaker as well I don't mind um and then the last one is that one and I just love this teal greeny colour that I've used and again just pulled out the flowers from the papers so if you're unsure what, what kind of colours you want to do the flowers if you've got paper you want to use start with the paper first and then choose your colours that you want and and pretty much just use the darkest colour you know for this one the lightest colour for that one and so on um, and you'll still get really nice designs so that's that one so what do you want me to start making first it's kind of like blind crafting you guys can tell me what to do easel please i want to see the twisted easel twisted easel yeah twist okay right i think we're we're all agreed it's going to be the twisted easel card first so let's get rid of all of this um so i've already chosen what colors i do want to use and i've already gone ahead and die cut a lot of them i'm going to do one now because i want you to see how to do it but I'm going to do the twisted easel with these purple ones here and if I just bring them up they are gorgeous and I've used the glitter in these ones here and they are just so so pretty hi Isabel so yeah so I'm going to be using those so I'm going to die cut another one now with you although I think I've run out of the glitter because I only want to use three so actually mum have you got another one can you just pass me that glitter, um, that pack of paper there? Just that wad, just all of that. Okay. I think one of them's got the glitter. Okay. Yeah. So, oh, sure. If there's another sheet, then I'll do two more. Mm -hmm. um, oh, I'll use the light actually. Yeah, I'll use the lighter one. There we go. Okay. Oh, you've got so much paper. There you go. Thank you. Okay, so. Um, so this one I'm going to, maybe I'll do these ones a little bit different in terms of what order I'm going to do the layers. So I've just, lit, and this is a really good one to use all your scraps because everything I have die cut is all been from scraps. I haven't cut into any fresh paper. So again, I just like those kind of um, projects. So let's grab, so first of all, I need to do my lightest purple. So for the main um base of the flower so I'm just going to cut some of this down here um Jean I can have a look for you I don't know off the top of my head but yeah anybody else in the chat might know um I know most of our magazines do ship internationally um yeah very pretty my mum had a favourite rose called blue moon just like that colour ah oh. okay yeah I'm raiding my mum's stash for this purple <laughs> She's got loads of papers. Nothing new. Nothing new, she says. She's sat on the desk behind me. She's doing... What are you making, Mum? Easter cards. She's making Easter cards. We're trying. We're trying, she says. Um, I look up from my work and I see glitter. <laughs> Love a bit of glitter. Right, so I'm going to do one and do... Let's just do two, just so I've got spare here. And the Twisted Easel cards take no time at all as well. And I think that's why I like doing, because they're fun fold cards, but actually don't take hours to make, which is always good. Karen says hello. Hello. <laughs> they can hear you. Okay, so that's my lightest colour. So now I need the darkest colour for the middle part. So I think I'm going to use, I kind of want it to be glitter though inside, so... Hmm. Right, that's going to be, no, I'm going to stick with that. Just quickly cut two bits out there. Okay, and then I need a medium, so I'm going to do that one on top. Right, that's that done. 
the glitter ones you do have to run through two times, uh, two times, a few times, or just put a little shim on top if you need to. Um, what is the volume number for the Simply Cards? Um, it is issue number one seven four. Connie, where do you get the V&A papers, please? They're from um, Hobby Base. Um, it's uh, www.hobbybase.co.uk. If you enter code mixed up at checkout, you'll get 10% off. So you can use perks of watching this um, live craft along. You can get 10% off your purchase with anything. It doesn't just have to be the V&A papers, just anything at checkout. Code mixed up. And it's all in capitals as well. Again, I'll put those links in. Um, let me just see if I can just comment it in now, actually, because I'm not used to doing this. Um, and then it is uh, www.hobbybase.co.uk. Okay, I have just wrote that in the chat so you should see it now. Yeah, the link's just popped up. Beverly, just have to have a little look on their website. I don't know off the top of my head, unfortunately, but I was saying earlier, most of our UK magazines do ship internationally. They're all part of one big chain, I think, so um, I'm pretty sure that they will do. But again, if you're starting off or you don't like paying out, you know, big bucks for some of the... Because I know Altenew is... The, I mean, their stuff's beautiful, but again, it can be very pricey. But, you know, for the price of this magazine, which wasn't much, how much did I pay for that one? Um, 6 99 And obviously you get all the downloadable papers as well. Loads of inspiration and a yeah, really nice die set. Again, I'm not sponsored or anything. I'm just doing this because I really love the magazine. So I'm not getting anything from this. Just crafting with you guys. So, yeah, they cut through pretty well. Just have to poke out a few bits and pieces with these. But you can see there just how lovely it looks when you put it against that background. What I would say is if until you're really kind of um, happy that you know what dye is for what kind of colours, just keep stick oops, throw it around there. Just keep sticking it back onto the kind of this card and maybe keep this wherever you're filing it away, just so you don't forget really what one's what. But you can always, you know, um, go back to the magazine as well. So, like I said, I pre-made most of the flowers tonight, but I just thought I'd show just how I assemble a few of them. Yeah, I've got some of their stamps, Kath. They are lovely. I use their um, Christmas... Was it theirs? That? Yeah, it was the Altenew. Yeah, the Christmas um, bows and bells. And I made the wrapping paper. And they were layered ones. I really like them. Okay, this top one is quite fiddly. You can see there it's a really, really kind of skinny one. So you do need to be careful with that. But I'll show you how I stick it all down really easily in a minute. So is everyone thawed out now from the snow? Although now there's like flash floods everywhere I keep seeing on the news. Okay, let's just get this done. So again, with all the things and whenever I say when you're doing bulk kind of die cutting or card making, do all this first. Just literally sit there, put a movie on, just go through and die cut everything, get it all done because it makes the whole process um, much much quicker rather than doing one at a time putting it together and do another one and so on and so forth right so I've got those ready I've already pre-cut oranges and reds for the next card that I'm going to do and I've pre-cut and stuck down the leaves as well but I will show you one of those so what you want to do now is whenever I'm doing really detailed um, dies and I've got to stick them down on anything whether it's just directly onto my cards or on top of each other, just smear my hand in glue. Um, what is a small die? This is tattered lace, uh, Linda. 
and it was from um, Hobby Base, but it's still available on eBay and I think direct from Tattered Lace. It's called the Baby Blue. It's brilliant. Me and my mum have both got them. Got to go. No worries, Kath. Thanks for dropping in. Still loads of snow in Northumberland, but going slowly. Yeah, I can imagine. Further up the line has been pretty bad. So I've just put glue on my hand there and I'm just literally just dabbing it over and just really quickly you've now got all the glue on the bottom and then just line it up stick it on top and you can see there already how quickly and then again with this really delicate one and just you don't need much at all and this is a you know a good strong glue and I always start from this left hand side where it's got more of the pattern it's just a bit easier to follow and then just stick that down Turn the whole thing over and then you can just Florida feels good to me. <laughs> oh I missed that. What's that? Oh come to Florida, no snow, sunny. Oh yeah. Although I'm gonna be flying back to China next week and my husband messaged and said it was 30 degrees yesterday. So that's gonna be a nice uh, nice surprise. But yeah, Florida definitely. Okay, so that's that one now. So that's all three, that took minutes, like yeah, literally a minute to do. So you can use the precision glues, things like this, where you get the fine, I can undo this one here. This is just a stamping up fine tip one. This is brilliant. Um, but what you've got to be careful is quite a lot can still come out even from that tiny nib. So even when you're doing something that thin, you might end up splodging loads of glue over the end and then it ends up getting a bit messy. I find oh, just putting it on my hand like this much, much easier. Although if you've got little hairs on your hand, it's not nice when you peel it off, but I quite, I used to, I don't know if anybody else, but I think probably everybody did, when you used to just deliberately put glue on your hand in school and then let it dry and then peel it off. So I don't mind. So again, do you get much snow where you live in China? Um, up further north, we live um, just south of Shanghai and they had the first snow this year just the day me and my husband flew to the uk so that was the end of january they had the first snowfall um, where we lived um, in 10 years so they don't get it there but further up north and further inland it's really bad yeah they get lots and lots of snow and it's um they have a thing called the ice festival in oh gosh i can't remember the name of it now off the top of my head and they make amazing sculptures people come from all over the world different artists and create these absolute i'm talking like buildings made out of ice it's absolutely incredible we keep saying we're going to go so hopefully we'll go next year thank you connie so there you go so now i've got those lovely flowers and i always like working in odd numbers with flowers so i've got five there i've got three here because I just think they kind of work better in odds. So now we need to start putting together our twisted easel card. So I'm using pre-made six by six card bases. These are just from the works in the UK. You get a pack of 10, they're the premium ones because they are really nice. They're 300 GSM, so they're, they're really good, strong cards. Um, and then I'm just gonna score, just move that out of the way a little bit. Yeah, very easy, Margie. If you just, I always stick to the left hand side, stick the left down first, and then just hold it up and just slowly go around and press all the rest down. I'm going to do a couple more tonight as well, so I'll go a bit slower on another one so you can see it. So this is just a normal. Sounds fascinating, Ju. Yeah, hi, Ju. Yeah, I, like I said, I can't wait. I'd love to go. So that's just the normal six by six card but I want it to be the, the twisted style so open it up so now you've got your front and back facing up put it on an angle so your top right hand side is lined up with the six inch marker on the scoreboard if I just bring this up even more and then basically on this one my mum's got you should still see this I'm hoping it's still going to come into focus I'm slightly my video's about 30 seconds delayed, um, so I'm just waiting to see if this bit comes into view on the picture before I go ahead and do it. I think it will be, it should be now. So you've got the top, what did I say it was? Top right hand corner, 
the corner of it put into the notch for six inches and then the bottom on this particular school ball my mum's got it has little um, marks here to say where the six inch one is so you just want to make sure that that piece the bottom left is lined up with the six there and then basically you can just score right down and it will join up corner to corner if you haven't got the school board just use your ruler um, like so and just go from the top right down to the bottom left and just score You just want to fold that carefully like so and then you've got your easel card so obviously be like that in the envelope and then it pops up like so now choosing colors so I want to do this purple one I just pulled out a load of my mum's kind of purple patterned papers and I just want to see because stripes and flowers polka dots things like that work really really well so these are all part of the same paper pack and they're double-sided so I quite like those ones together they could be quite fun I actually quite like the different color glitter I like the light with the dark so that's that let's see what other options we've got here it's the same. Maybe those. That's a little bit boring. Um, maybe with that. Because I want to have, so I think I'm going to have the stripe on the bottom, like so. And these are all going to be on the top. No, I'm going to stick with stripe and polka dot. No one's saying otherwise, so that's what I'm going to go for, I think. Okay, that's up there. Make sure I'm not getting myself in a mess. So, just check I've got enough of the other colours. Right, now I want a blank, a plain. Um, Plain purple. I'm going to use if that one's going to work. Um, yeah, I think that one would be good. Um, sorry, I'm talking to myself a minute, guys, because I'm just trying to make sure I get. I think I've got another one there. Yeah, I'm going to use that for the circles, I think. Oh, actually, hang on. I've got this big paper pack here which is another it does say it's a craft must-have and it pretty it really is because it's it's really nice quality paper mania capsule assorted colossal colors 12 by 12 and you get loads you get 75 sheets so I'm just working my way through that but I think that but then that starts to go a bit pinky then I don't know if it's gonna match what do you think does that look nice little combo or the darker Light or dark? You choose. I have cuddle bag, but with like a small one. Yeah, I've got the Big Shot, and my mum's got, and I've also got the A4 electric tattered lace. But this is the, a brilliant little one just for, yeah, I keep it on my desk, and I'd say probably 80% of my dies are small dies that fit through this, so this gets used loads. Dark, love the darker, like the dark one. Yeah, I think dark. Yeah, dark seems to be coming through. Okay, dark it is. All right. Um, so that's going to be on the top with the flowers. And this is going to be on the base. So I'm just going to get this one lined up first. So the card is actually a little bit shorter than 6x6, six six, or this is larger than 6x6 six because six, it needs to be cut down. Do I want? No, I don't want that pattern. So I'm just going to quickly just mark this with a little bit of a border around it. Um, have you got your trimmer? Mm -hmm. Can I pinch it, please? Yeah. Oh, Mum's making a lovely uh, Easter card. I'll see, I'll see if she finishes when I do, and then I can show you it. Thank you. That one 
is now going to go nicely. Yeah, it's going to look good. All right, let's get this one stuck down. Like ripping this tear tape on this kind of paper because it sometimes rips the top off of it so I'm just gonna just put three of these on because it's a thicker tape anyway so I don't need much I've run out of that um, glue roll that I used last time but those of you that watch me a lot I like using this stuff anyway so just get that you got the bone folder there have you got another one Oh no, you've got one here. Sorry, you've got two. Don't worry, I'll use this one. Thank you. Okay. So just lie this one down so we get a nice border. Like so. And then the top one is going to obviously just go across both sides. So first of all, I'm just going to cut it right down from corner to corner on the diagonal. Like so. Okay. And again, what you want to do with this, because obviously it goes off the edge, so I'm just going to take my cardigan off, just feeling a bit hot. Ooh, it's because I'm sat, there's a radiator right to the right hand side of me. Right. So I've got a little border here, sort of about one eighth of an inch. And I want to have that obviously lying along this top score line as well. So I'm just going to get a pencil mark and just roughly like so. You only need to do it on one because you can then measure it against that one. So now I'm just going to lie that down and use the black line on the actual um, or whatever markers it is that you have on your trimmer just so that I can make sure that it stays straight all the way down. So I know that it's got a nice straight line next to that black guide and then just cut that through. And then what I can do now is just sit that on top of the other piece. And then just again pop that in the trimmer, making sure the top and the bottom are all in the right place. And take the top one away and just cut that one off. So now they will sit on the top and you'll see the nice equal border when we stick them all down. Okay, so I'm going to get those two... Do I want to put anything else before I stick it down? Because it's always when you, about before you're about to stick this down, it's when you need to think, do I want to put any ribbon under and things like that. But I think I'm just going to go straight in and uh, stick them on top. Keep it relatively simple for the live. Usually I edit all these bits out in my video, so I'm always I feel a little bit like conscious that all you're doing is watching me stick stuff down. But I guess when I watch anybody live, I actually quite like that. So let me know if you do, or if you're finding this boring, please tell me because I always like to, you know, I'm 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 okay with constructive criticism. Okay. So just start from one whole edge, so I'm not sticking any of my fingers underneath this right hand side, so I'm not sticking any of that down yet until I'm happy that I've got a perfect straight line all the way down. And once I'm happy that that all lines up, so even there I wasn't sure, and I can still move it. Obviously if you're using wet glue then you've got that wiggle room to change it if you want. 
I'm going to start from the other corner. I'm not happy with that line. There we go. Like so. Doesn't bother me one bit. Thanks, Laura. last bit done. We can do the more fun stuff putting it all together. <clears throat> I think it's good to be able to see how someone else does things. It's a learning experience. Yeah, I think so too. You, you know, even down to just little bits like even just the way I've cut this I guess. Like sometimes I watch someone do something and I think gosh why didn't I do it that way? That's so much easier or you know I'm always learning, there's always something new. And you guys are great too, especially on my YouTube channel. So many people say, oh Sam, you know, maybe try this or do that. And I'm like, oh my god, yeah, that's a really good idea. Because everything I do, I just do because that's how I think it's best to do it. But it doesn't mean it is the right way. Okay. They're, they might be a bit glue. They might have some glue stuck on them. You might want to use... <laughs> no, I'll clean them after. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I just got some glue on my mum's snips, her stamping up snips. Um, but I usually clean them with the uh, <laughs> surgical spirit. She's just gone to pinch them to use them, and um, she's noticed there's glue on them. Sorry, I'm laughing and trying to read the messages at the same time. It's just made me chuckle. She's now frantically cleaning them in tears. So, right, there you go. So now you can see with those really nice mats on the card how it's all coming together now. I think it looks really cool. Um, Kriya, hi Sam, great that you're live. Hello. Um, I've read that one as well. Right, this is now irritating me. So when we were saying about that glue on your hand and then peeling it off, so I can just peel that all off now because I'm going to need to put fresh, fresh glue on when we come to stick it down or I do some more. Let me just take that off. There we go. Right, where is it? You can pick up tips just like sh uh, showing how to put the glue on your hand for intricate die cuts. Yes, you can. Right now, we need to. Oh, sentiment. So, where did I put all those? Because I said I wanted to use that um, sending hugs, and this will die cut nicely in a square because that's the next thing is building up that. Um, let me just so you can see on the one I've done here. You need to kind of build up this focal area, which is going to be what sits here. And then I used, if I take this one back out again for anybody that missed it at the beginning. So this is what I'm recreating. So I've got one flower there and then obviously the two here, but it's built up on three um, circle die cuts. But I think this one I'm going to do square. So let's just pop that one back to one side and grab... Can you grab the second one behind that pack, Mum? I think it's got the square nest dies in it. They were on there, but I think you popped them back. Yeah, that one. Yeah, can't be. That's all right. So I'm just going to take out and choose. So I need to grab this one and also, so it's going to be white. And then just talking to myself again, the purple. What other colour did I do? Um, I need to choose one more colour. Right, first of all, let's choose one. one. So I'm going to do a rectangle actually. So I think can I get it in a smaller one again? Yeah. So I'm going to die cut it first in that size, and then use the next two up for the two other colours to make that little piece for the flowers to all stick on. Um, that is so cool. The Tombow stays sticky when it dries. Yeah. Yeah, that one is that one's quite not too bad, but it does eventually just dry up. Stick an adhesive sheet. Yeah, adhesive, adhesive um, sheets. I've used that as well. They're really good. Um, that is so cool. Oh, to... Did I 
I'm moving that down. Sorry, just checking all the comments so I can keep up to date with them all. So, I, that, oh, I think I cut that one down too short from the other sheet. Yeah, I'm going to cut that from this one. Um, that's the only thing I guess if you're good with re you know programming your printer when it comes to what it prints but you can't die cut these with you know if you wanted to do obviously that one with a big circle or an oval you'd then lose this one for example or you'd get some of that image um, there so yeah that's why I printed a few of them because I knew that I was going to have to sacrifice a few of them for other ones okay let's so just pop that back in there for a minute <clears throat> um. okay just line this one up it is defaulted to black font um, but I just changed it so it's kind of this like I kind of guess light to darkish kind of mm -hmm. grey colour because I just thought that goes with pretty much anything then So let's use this one for the next size up. Did you use cardstock to print on? No, just normal copy paper. So it's actually really, really thin and see-through. If I just hold it, you may not be able to see, but you can see right through it. So, but I knew I was going to be um, matting it on some more card. So I guess if you just want it to be on its own, um, then I would suggest obviously running through um, thicker card, but just make sure you run each piece of card through separately. Don't put multiple bits in because not all printers can take that much going through at the same time. Okay, so that one is going to be on top of that one and then on top of this darker one again so that's the largest of them all so I'll go down this end here some of this on foam back in the sentiment I'm going to stick directly down onto there I'm just going to use a strip of this thick double sided tape where did you get the rectangle dies from mum where did you get the rectangle dies from <laughs> Um, oh yes, the works. Yeah. Actually, I saw them in there yesterday, the works UK, but also the works um, online. They've got loads of nesting dies on there at the moment. I think they've just had a new delivery in because there was lots. And I think they're about six pounds, five or six pounds, maybe even four actually. No more than no more than six though. Yeah, that's actually a good a good um Thing. mum well I have as well mum takes all my points now because obviously I'm not really here a lot but the works do a discount scheme card and we buy lots of craft stuff in there because I love watercolor paper all of their premium cards I get the wood veneers in there um coloring like coloring pencils there's just loads of good stuff in there um obviously it depends on branch to branch but they do like a, a what do they say loyalty scheme and every is it quarter yeah. every three months they send you vouchers and We've already got, how much did that woman say? £17 um, in vouchers to come, literally to spend on whatever you want, which I thought was really, really good. So, again, if you have one nearby, I know they do all vary, but like I said, they've got online and you can use your card online as well because there's an area where you enter it in. So, okay, so just put two strips of foam adhesive there on the back. 
Have you done, Mum, or are you, no, you no, stopped? I'm, I'm, no, I'm not stuck with stuff. I'm just thinking what to... She's doing a really nice... She's doing an Easter egg-shaped card. It looks really nice. Um, where have you got the sentiment? Okay, so they are all now nicely lined up and now I've got this raised middle one because it's good for when you're sticking. See, that's going to look so cool on top of there and then, oh, don't want to lose my leaves because then you do have this pop of green, which I think is just really nice. But now if you imagine if I have that one there and then it's going to have a couple of the, oh, the leaves coming out like so already it comes together and of course I'm going to add some sequins to it as well so it should end up looking very nice so let's first of all uh, so I want to do this one slightly different so first of all lay it down and you want to put this right in the center because you imagine when that person takes out the envelope this is what they're going to see first of all before they then realize that actually when you open it up so you just want to get this lined up roughly where you think it's going to sit. I think that's about right. So now I know I need to glue just kind of through the U of the word hugs that way there. So I'm just going to now turn it over and put some glue on the back. Turn it over and again obviously just be careful now. Just kind of tack it down and then I can bend it over and just see there I've got a little bit of glue gone over but that should be fine. I just quickly stick it in place and then lift it up so then that glue can dry without being stuck. So now it's all about the accessories and I always kind of use that in the way that I dress as well. My clothing's relatively quite plain but then I kind of bling it up with my jewellery and necklaces and stuff and that's how I kind of work with my crafting. Um, it's all the extra kind of accessories that will kind of bring it all together. So I'm just trying to find something a bit heavier just to keep that up for a minute. There we go. And it's a good way now to start kind of playing around seeing what ones you want to put where how you want them to look. I think one up there and one down there is going to look rather pretty. And then one is going to be on the bottom here with more little leaves on it and that's obviously going to be our little stopper, our kind of door stop for the card. Okay, I think that's set now, that's not going to stick. Okay, so I'm going to have one up here, but I want to have these underneath first of all. Like so, yeah. So I'm just going to put some glue on the back here. Just stick that one down. And then again, I kind of want it swooping around the sentiment, so. And just the tiniest amount, you need hardly any of this glue. And just keep kind of popping it in place each time just to check that you're happy with all the positioning. I think that's going to look quite cute there, like so. And then I can just put glue just on the little bit there and stick that right down. Like so. So if I just bring that one up, you can see how that's starting to come together. I'm going to do another one down here now. So I think I'm going to do the lighter sequined one here down the bottom that's going to kind of swoop up the side. Again, another little leaf on each side, like so. Looking really good. Thank you, Margie. And then a little bit of glue. 
each time I keep putting it back down in place just to check I'm happy with its positioning. And then again, a little bit of glue on all the backs. Okay, so that's now the other part. So now when that comes up, you can see how it lifts off straight away and that just looks so pretty. Now, I just you need to decide where, how high up you want it. I mean, you could have it right the way up here and if you had something really big you wanted to display here, but I always like mine kind of running, if I don't get my hand in the way here. So it's kind of in line with where I, how I scored it earlier, so just a, you know, a complete diagonal line from corner to corner, kind of keep it there. And then the idea is, is you put a little piece of white card in here to write your sentiment, or you could write your sentiment here, or you could write it right on the back of the card. So there's plenty of room to be able to write your message, but I'm going to keep it like so. And that is going to go down here again with, oh, I think I need to cut another leaf like so and that's going to be lifted up on foam now so that it will sit like that and hold it together i just think that looks really really pretty it's stunning i'm always amazed at how the cards come together thank you Anne. thank you very pretty thank you nina okay so um so this one here needs to go on some foam because it does need to be raised or if you are layering up like i layered up this sentiment then that would be fine you wouldn't need to put that on foam because it, it already has Obviously, I have that done. Okay. So, do I want it? Let me just check. I'll do it about there. There we go. So now already that's in place. So now I can pop a few of these around. I'm going to add some sequins as well. And just kind of pick that up right let me just cut another of the leaves because i haven't done that yet oh i love it you know again i do it don't I? I do it in my videos i kind of talk to myself when i really think something's really pretty um so there you've got two little leaves and again it tells you you've got your light oh, your light color is the main base and then darker color for the detail okay so move that out of the way so my light colour green, if I can find where I put it, and there we go, I already had some scraps. Just run the dark through first. I'm sorry, Miss Ray, you got your little embossing machine. This, Beverly, sorry, it's um, tattered lace. Um, yeah, it's not on Hobby Base. It's actually on the. Um, you can get it in Hobby Craft, or you can get it direct from Tattered Lace website, or if not, eBay and Amazon. And it's called the Baby Blue. Crushed curry. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you. Okay. Maybe I'll do, uh, I think I might have three on the bottom actually, I'm going to do another one, have a little cluster, I'm trying to tidy up as I go so I'm not left with a ton of mess at the end, it was like a bomb had hit it after last week's live because I was throwing stuff on the floor and yeah, it was quite funny. You're welcome Beverly, no problem. Again, the little details just all fall out. Like so. So you don't lose these, they're so tiny. The amount of little like little dyes I've almost lost. All well, the worst is um, clear stamps when I've been cleaning them. Actually it was when I it was one of my um, quite an early um, YouTube I think I mentioned I must have mentioned it on a YouTube or something but a lady said or she uses no I think I put it on a Facebook group actually and I said I lost a very tiny stamp a clear photopolymer stamp and I was absolutely gutted and this lady said I'll use a colander she uses a colander to clean her stamps in I thought, what a great idea so now that's what I use or I've got one of those little um like um the kind of the thing that you put over the plug 
like catches hair, one of those horrible gross things, but they're good for also catching any stray stamps that may get through the net. Okay. No, I just realised what I'd done. <laughs> I've just swooped my little ones in the bin. I've just seen one of it there looking at me. Why did I do that? Not look for it. No, I've got them. I just rescued them in the uh, recycling bin. I don't know why I've done that. Okay, so again, just a little bit of glue. Hello to all the new people that are watching. I am currently in the process of finishing off this twisted easel card. If you've got any questions, feel free. And uh, if you'd like me to make another card after this, because this one is nearly finished, I am more than welcome to. More than welcome, more than happy to. There we go again, same random things. So again, you can see there how easily, and again, if you're using the wet glue, you've got time to kind of just move them into place. But you can see there just the detail in the little leaves. It's really sweet. Um, I found a clear stamp on the floor today when I ran the vacuum. Yeah, I found them in the most bizarre places, stuck to like the back of bits of plastic or, you know, you get the plastic um, sheeting that stamps stick to. I found it on other random stamps. I've come across stamps months after I've used them thinking, oh my God, that's where it was. And I found dyes stuck to magnets right in random yeah, places as well. well. Yeah. So but, um, they do all appear in the end. So I'm going to do two close together like so. And then I'm going to do this one right up here like so now some sequins put a little bling finish even though it's got quite a lot of bling with the uh, glitter okay so I've got these lovely love these they seem to go with everything they go really well with purple really well with pink and again just put a little splodge there and grab the tweezers um, I can find them. Have you got the little the metal tweezers? You haven't got them over there, have you? No, nothing over here. Um, you, no, I did have them next to me. I've got a feeling I've it's not under there. It's just easy to pick up the sequence, that's all. Them? Oh yeah, they do. Oh, there they are. Shall we? Where? Oh yeah. yeah. No, no, no. That's a different one. I don't like them. They don't seem to pick it up very well. It's all right. I'll use these. Yeah, they're good. I've got the big silver ones somewhere. I can't find them. That's my mum, by the way. She's here for those of you that have uh, just come in. And then just put a couple down there, and I'm going to do one right there. Let's do a few around the bottom here as well. Put two on top of each other. Um, where else? <laughs> Find myself like hovering them. I don't think I need. Or do I need another one? Should I really have three? Let's do one more there. And then one more at the bottom. Oh, I missed that. What's that about the baby blue? Thanks for that, Jew. Let me just double it down there and see what was there, Jew. For replacement plates, try a company called Slip Screens. They do stuff for motorbikes, but also do plates for that. All right, cool. Thank you. Oh, I think I need another one. You can never have too many sequins. One up there. And some of these are a bit lumpy on the back. That one's a dud. Don't like that one. Let's get a little bit more glue. One more, like odd numbers. And that one can go there. And there you have it. 
I think that's rather darling. Quite pretty. I'll just bring it up closer for you to see. Oh, that's nice. Yes, I like that. Oh, yes, Mum likes that. She's just coming and a look. If I just oh, bring yeah, it up a bit lovely. closer. And you should now be able to see all that sparkle. And, yeah, I mean, you could still keep adding more to it, really. But less is more sometimes. But there is room, to, I guess, to still put a bit more. You could easily have two roses down here. Um... We could have two at the bottom, I guess, but I think that's really, really, really cute. Like I said, I'm a bit ahead of my video. I think they do that for, I guess, maybe if there's an issue or something, you can stop the video quickly. So I'm just holding it here for a little bit longer, just so I can see. Well, maybe you guys can see it. Can you see me holding this up now then? Because the, the, what I see is I, it's still down. Like I said, I'm about maybe 30, 40 seconds behind. But um, yeah, look at the way it catches the light there. It's gorgeous. Just stick that sequin down a bit more there. So I'm just going to let that all dry. Um, would you like to see me make another card? Thumbs up. Beautiful. Excited to get the magazine and dies. Yes, yeah, lovely. The leaves look really good. Yes, beautiful. Yes, we can see. Yes. Oh, brilliant. Good. Love it. Thank you, Laura. So what, I've been on just over an hour. Do you want me to do some more? I think it was about an hour and 40 last week. I, like I said, I don't mind because um, my evening is free. Okay, cool. I will crack on and do something new. So I'm going to keep that one like that just so the sequins can set. Mum, I'm just popping it up there a minute. Okay. Just in case you see it. Right, so I had pre-done these oranges and I've got a random red as well. I've also still got these two. And then when I was playing around with colours, I die cut loads of different. I was really playing around and a lot of this is kind of leftovers from those cards I've done before. But I think I want to do oranges and I brought in the Floral Fusion paper pack. Um, this is quite an old paper pack. It's been going for, I think, nearly a year, actually. Um, it's first edition one by Trim Craft and it's got a real nice oriental um, theme. And I just saw the oranges here and I just thought, actually, I know I've got some really nice... Um, oranges and stuff in here like already that there with the butterfly oh actually have you got that butterfly dye just thinking I could do a butterfly on those flowers butterfly dye yeah, yeah somewhere but... don't worry if you can't find it I'm just thinking I could do a little nest or something and do a butterfly and maybe just trying to see this is what I do literally what I'm doing now talking to myself kind of thing and playing around with papers is, is exactly how I work um We'll be able to see your mother's card. Oh, they, they're asking if they're going to be able to see. Oh, this, is, this, is, this is so far. This is what she's done so far. She's still working on the sentiment and more layering and stuff to it. But I think it looks really, really cool. This is the stamping up. Um, what was that stamp set? I've got it as well. I can't remember what it was called. It's really nice, this one here. Oh, yeah. Um, um, but, yeah, I think that's, I think it's going to be great. Really nice. Okay. I can't remember what it's called. I'll find that name. Yeah, it was the, um, yeah, it'll come to me anyway. Um, okay, again, see that's really nice. Well, maybe not with the orange, but certainly with the red. I might have to die cut some more red again there. So what I mean, I, this paper pack is just amazing. All sparkle. I really like that, actually, but I could still use a butterfly, actually. So I think, yeah. Let's go for this, and I think I'm just going to do just a nice plain six by six card. Um, and just do a really nice sentiment. We'll do lots of clusters and a big butterfly. I think that's going to look really pretty. And we can do that one with sending hugs. Let me just find a sentiment. We can also make a wreath. Yes, well, they've got the wreath here. And um, they are from the pr the printable pre-stamped images. So then all you need is that um, outline die and you can just die cut them straight away. Um, but yeah, I think that looks really, really pretty. Like I said, there's tons and tons of ideas with this. Um, find where it is actually. Yeah, so you've got all here. Loads of really nice ones here. And again, anyway. You'll see it with a butterfly in the centre. Yeah, 
So that's lovely so far. Margie said, lovely card so far, Mum. Thank you. Nina said, oh, that's lovely, Sam's Mum. Thank you. <laughs> See? Okay, right. I'm going to get some red. Or maybe... Maybe the orange does work. I think I think I can. Yeah, I'm going to use all of that. And I'm going to use some orange card to frame the back. So I'm just looking through my pack, which you can't see. I'm kind of just off screen. This is going to be really quite bright. There we go. Two. And a happy card. Um, That's the two I've got. Yeah. Have you not got the hobby base butterfly? I thought you did. No. I'm sure. I'm sure that's in my room. Okay, I'll have a look when we get to it because I might. Um, maybe you can have a look in a minute. It's on the floor, I think. Yeah. Um, with all, there's like loads of them. All, to, all the hobby base ones. Yeah. I'll have a look. Um. Okay. Hello. Is it Prank? 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 Oh, I can't pronounce it. Prank? Panka? Prank? Panka? Sorry if I pronounced your name completely wrong, but hello. Uh, gotta go now Sam but thanks so much really enjoyed tonight you're welcome Margie thank you for dropping in what month is that mag it's this month Sam it's issue number 174 so this is just going to be a, a standard open and close card um, no I haven't got that one definitely not oh because yeah yeah, yeah I thought you did okay that's the like that's it. the um, one I'm going to use okay let's get this all cut down blades going on the trimmer a bit there. I need to just trim just that there. down a bit. Yeah, no, it's fine. I'm just going to trim it down. You just take, take those big scissors. Yeah, yeah. And just uh, pinch them first. Thank you. You're welcome, Anne. Uh, do you, yeah. Nice orange. I haven't used orange for quite a while, actually. But I've got this paper pack and I thought, oh, yeah, I like those colours. Yeah, nice and bright. And let's just trim just a little bit. It's just a little bit of fluffy on the edges. Okay. So now that will give me a nice border. So thank you for staying tuned. I know I've got lots of people dipping in and out, so I don't know if it's new people, people popping in among, you know, whilst doing other things, so I appreciate it, thank you. sentiment shall I do for this one actually as well um, I've already done a sending hugs well I hope you feel better soon maybe do that one again I've done that one already on the other easel card what do you think best wishes on your special day hello beautiful especially for you that could be a good one let me know what you think but I, I'm kind of liking this one or this one one of those two, let me know. Okay. Hello, beautiful. bunch since you have a bunch of flowers yeah that's a good one actually Linda okay let's get this one marked up especially for you Well, 
looks wonky. Is that wonky? That looked like that come out really wonky. Yeah, it is. Look at the top there. Terrible. Let's redo that one. Although it doesn't look wonky there. I'm wondering whether it was wonky in the paper pack. Because I didn't think I'd done it wonky. Or maybe it's just me. No, it's alright now. My eyes are playing playing games. Okay. So again, this is kind of the boring bit, just doing all this, but Fun in a minute. But again, in, I'm, I'm using very little things. So, you know, if you are just starting off, you know, just buying magazines is, is a good way to start. Um, and it then will, you know, there's always lots of coupons and vouchers and inspiration for different sites and, you know, printable downloads are really good. And I'm always raving about the pound shops and the works. They're really good for lovely paper packs. In fact, yesterday, have you got that Christmas one, Mum? Oh, yes. Yeah. Yes. There, we found a little hidden gem in the pound shop. <laughs> and we hit it again. Yeah, I don't think you will. Hang on a minute, I'll just stick this down. Okay. Um, there we go. Just quickly, uh, quickly show you this one. This was a pound, you get 30. And I found it, it, it almost looked like it had been on the floor, but every single page is coated and embossed and they are absolutely gorgeous images. So if you've got Poundland, have a little look because I wonder whether this was returned. You get three of each or maybe four of each. It's been ex-Christmas stock. Yeah. You know, like the end of Christmas stock. Yeah. But they are, look at these, absolutely beautiful. And it was the only pack, and I said to Mum, no, go and you have it, because I know I'm going to end up getting other packs. But aren't they just adorable? And I just said that on its own, just mat onto a card. Nice Merry Christmas sentiment, some sequins, and you've got a lovely little card. So you don't have to spend loads of money. Um, have to build the base to finish the project. Yeah, I love this. Wow, never find anything like that in our pound shops. Yeah, they are hit or miss, aren't they? Hello beautiful. Hey Louise, how are you honey? Especially for you. Okay, so we've got a few. Okay, well once I've kind of got all the bits together then I'll look back at the sentiment again. But I quite like the thought of the thanks a bunch now as well. Although I'm a bit funny with thanks. I like to have thanks so much. Um, or thank, thank you. Yeah. My mum's got a real big thing about thanks and she hates Xmas. It's oh, got to be Christmas. Can't do Xmas. Yeah, can't do Xmas. Right, so again, I need three, so I'm going to have to do that one, do the flowers again. Um, or do I keep the red? Let me know. Do I do like maybe that? And then there's going to be lots of leaves, the sentiment and sequins. What do you think? Red and then the two oranges kind of on top. Plus I have the greenery in between there. Let me know. So I think actually rather than do another one, I'm going to do my leaves and get them done. I'm going to go for a different green this time. No, I'll stick with that one actually. I agree with your mum, it's got to be Christmas, yeah. What else we got? Uh, wonderful, I'm hooked whilst trying to put the children to sleep. <laughs> Watching from Canada. Hey Linda. Yes, in red. We've got, we've got, where do we have? We've got all, well, I think we've got all point, all corners of the planet watching. Planet Earth, actually. <laughs> I don't know what I'm saying. <laughs> okay, right, let's crack on before I start getting... Where did I just put the base? Ah, where's my frame? Oh, there it is. Right, so the lightest colour mm -hmm. you die cut with the full um, outer one, and then the, the one here with the detail on is your darker um, colour. Put it on the right plates. Okay. Maybe squeeze one more on this piece, yeah. Try and get as much out of the card. So I'm going to 
to do. What should I do? Um... <clears throat> Watching from the Netherlands. Brilliant. Oh, I've just done that through the wrong one. See, I'm not concentrating at all because I'm looking up at the comments. I'm being a very good teacher. Okay. Oh. Remind me again to show you my mum's card when she's finished. I reckon by the time I've done this, it should be done. Yes, the red. Yeah, I'll keep the red then, Linda. Um, I think I'm just going to stick with five. If I do need to add more, I'll do that off camera because you don't need to see me cut even more. And then just cut these. really fun series going up next week I'm not going to say what it is but um, yeah there's some really fun tutorials going up so I hope you like them hey Kathy oh raining at least it's not snowing anymore hopefully it's although I hope you know you haven't got flooding from all the snow thawing out show the card in a minute to those of you that are just coming in um, the twisted easel card I made before this is the second card now that I'm doing and I'll show all the ones from the beginning as well so you get to see them again okay that is all that done now I'm not going to put you through any more of that okay again I'm just trying to keep everything tidy as I go so I've got stuff everywhere <laughs> Mum's on the other desk. Okay, right, what am I doing? Right, okay, so let's get these all taken, all the innards out. I'm using the layering dies from issue 174 of Simply Papercraft um, magazine. And these are the layered dies by Altenew. And they are gorgeous. That's that all done. And then again, this is the butterfly I'm going to die cut as well. What colour shall I do the butterfly? Mm. What about gold? Glittery gold butterfly, because gold and orange go really well together. And there is some sparkle in the papers as well. So let me know what you think. And I shall raid the scrap drawer and see if there's any gold. I think there is actually. Just sticking each one down, starting from the bottom because it's easiest, and then you can kind of wiggle it about. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Mandy. Yeah, the butterflies, I think it's going to look really cool. Just going to say the same gold here. <laughs> yeah. I think that's going to look rather nice. Last one. Like I said, if you've got this and you want to work on a big project and have lots of these, as I mentioned at the beginning of this, you know, sit down, put a movie on and just die cut lots and lots of pieces and then put it all together. Because then when you come to actually assemble the cards, it's really quick. This is the, just the fiddly bit. There we go. They look so good. I love those. 
Gold would be nice, yeah. I think gold is what we're going to go for. Um, and that's the stamp, uh, the layers, um, <laughs> the die um, layered rose die collection. So this is what we're using here. So I'm just going to stick those back on so I don't lose them. Um, Marty, is a mini die cut machine called the Baby Boo by Tattered Lace? Yeah. Yeah, Tattered Lace, thank you for adding that in for me. Um, so I'm running out to put these yeah, Right, okay, let's now, right, sentiment. So what are we going for then? Um, what was the overall kind of, let me say, uh, I'm going to go for especially for you. Um, and I'm going to do, I wonder if I can get circles. Can I borrow the circle, the nest of circle dice? I'm just thinking, I think it'll look nice with circles. Thank you all. Oh, look, just just fits. And maybe I'll just use one. Right, so let's just cut this one out really carefully. Something just fits mm -hmm. in place. Just stick that in place. Okay, get that run through. I think it'll fit in this one. Hopefully it does, otherwise I'm gonna have to get just what I do. When it just fits like this, if it's just going over slightly on one side it will still fit my with through my machine but what I have to do is just move the um turn it around so now I'll just turn it that way trim off the edges here pop it now that way should have all cut out nicely. Yep. And carefully just take that off the washi tape. Like so. Okay. So this is going to be especially for you mounted up on a couple of more layers. Throw it all together and I'm sure it's going to look lovely. So I'm not going to use three circle layers, I think all I need is two, but what would be nice is if I can get that tealy colour, oh I've got it stuck to my hands, if I can get that kind of teal, is it teal? It's like, no, aqua, it's like an aqua blue, I don't know what colour is kind of picking up for you guys, um, but let me just grab, again, my pack here and just see what colours I've got, um, How's that one look? Oh no, it's a bit too blue. I might not get the right colour, so I might not bother. Maybe. No, that's too light. Um, just going to look through the scraps a second, guys, because I just want to see. Yeah. So if you have got some dyes and you think, oh, it's just not going to quite fit, just flip them around. Because the actual width of the this one here is much bigger than the plates, so you will get bigger dies through it. So it's actually three and three eighths in width, but the plates are three. So you've got three eighths of an inch there, you know, extra. So yeah, you get bigger ones through. Um, so yeah, sorry guys, just quickly looking through. Hmm, do you think that one goes to that background, or do you not think it's going to look right? I'll it a little, no. no, I think I'm going to do, oh I don't know whether I do red, maybe I do red, maybe I do a red, yeah, I'm going to do a red circle, okay, and a red butterfly, and they're all tied together, um, okay, so that was that size, so let's now do, that just fits, yeah, it's always good when you've got that bit of scrap card and it just fits the die, you want to use. So now this one I'm going to have to run through. Mum, do you mind running that through the bigger dye machine for me? Yeah. It's 
So okay. just that one. Thank you. Okay, so while my mum does that, that's going to be matted on top. So let's get the, I can do the butterfly on the little machine here. So I know this butterfly needs a shim, so I'm just going to use a scrap piece there. Yeah, that's squeaking. That's my mum's bigger machine. Keeps saying we need to put some oil on it. Okay, I love this dye. Absolutely love it. It's such a pretty butterfly, and I've used it in so much of my projects, so many of my projects. And then, actually, if I just use the, I need the thing. Actually, you haven't got your mat, have you? No, it's not done it even with the shim. Hold on, I need to go through again. Oh yeah, thank you. So that's now going to go. Yeah. And then they're all going to be, yeah, that look nice. Okay. Just going to the um, No, I think it's, I'm just going to do it at the end here and I think it'll be I fine. It just do it a couple more times. You are really good at crafts. Oh. Hello, Chloe. Thank you. Just doing this a few times just to make sure it cuts right through. see they're all coming out now. Just help it along a little bit. See on the bigger one these just fall out. Um, but this is an older one. I mean my mum's had that maybe two over two years now. So you, they really do last um, and it probably just needs some new plates as well. That makes a big difference. I think, how much did you pay for that one? Was about it about 20, 20? It was on 20, offer, I think. Yeah, £22, I think. Yeah, about £22. That was on offer in Hobby Base. Um, like I said, it was quite a few years ago, but I know they still stock it. So, just taking, you can see all the detail in this die. I know I've got that thing there and I just haven't got the mat out, but I'll just video. show you. Okay. Is that your card? Yeah. I'll show it. Oh, you haven't done that? Oh, you have done the sentiment. Okay. Yeah. Just pop up there, I'll show it in a minute. So, there you go, you can see how detailed that is. There. Uh, just leave that there for a minute. Okay. Um, right. So I think I've got everything. What's that? <laughs> what are you doing? Oh, I wonder what you're looking at. So we're just looking at. Um, comments and stuff okay I'm easily distracted right so we've got the butterfly we've got that that needs to be stuck down so let's just put a little bit of tape I'm just going to put a little bit through the middle because I'm going to be putting lots of bits around this like so oh, I can't believe the time guys doesn't time go fast when you're crafting Right, let's stick that one down. So now I want to put this on some foam. Do one. Do. Sure, I've got my card open the right way. So I'm just going to stick that nicely in the middle, like so. And then just kind of playing around now. I need to get the little leaves in as well. What I had, oh, I've got five, that's okay. And this kind of starts breaking up all the other colour. Maybe that'll go down last. See how just when you start adding the little leaves, it just really brings it together. I don't 
don't know whether I need three or whether I just keep two and then have a butterfly there. What do you think, guys? I'm not sure whether I need to have that other one as well. Because I don't like you've always got to kind of keep in kind of groups of three, and that butterfly looks really quite cute. What do you think? I'm just going to tidy some of this away a minute. Yeah, I think that looks really quite sweet as well. And then I'll add, add another leaf up there or something. Try and put an orange flower with the red flower. Okay. Something like that. I don't know if that looks a bit heavy now. I like it, but I think it would have been better on a bigger card. Maybe if I had a like a five by seven card. Two orange ones together and butterfly on the top like you just had it. Yeah, I think that red now clashes with the... Maybe I have it a little bit closer to the flower. How about that? And then maybe I can do two reds down there. So this is why I love card making, because when you get to this stage, it's so nice just being able to kind of play around. How about that? That looks really quite nice. What do you think of that one? Um, no, this one's not for my mum, Chloe. Three with the butterfly on top. I think I like this. Yeah, yeah, very pretty. It's kind of balanced out because you've got two kind of bits going on and then you've got that up there. I think it seems to look quite good. I'm going to go for it. I'm going to stick it down. Okay, so if I stick the red, red needs to go down first. That's it now, guys. I've made up my mind, I've committed, stuck. Yes, thanks Kathy. Okay, and then I had like so. Remember now I had it again, it was like that, wasn't it? Yeah, that's it. So then I need to stick most of this orange down on top. I've just stuck the wrong one. Oh, no, I haven't. Did I do the right? No, I've just stuck the wrong um, side. It doesn't really matter. You're not going to see any of that, but obviously it won't stick. It's that side. Yeah, getting myself completely confused here. So there's that one. Turn the butterfly around as if it is smelling. Yeah, I have. He's turned around now. I love it now, but I fly the other way up. Okay, so then that one, like so. It's quite funny seeing what everybody's saying, giving me an idea to uh, do like a blind craft along and just have loads of stuff in front of me and then you guys tell me what to use. I think it would be quite a laugh. Okay, that's that end, and then let's do this one. Again, because I'm using the wet glue, I've got time to kind of lift 
bits up and you know add to it and stuff so you can't really go wrong when you're working with really pretty things like this it's going to look lovely really no matter which way it is okay so I'm just going to roll the butterfly around between my I was going to do a gold butterfly wasn't I I just remembered although I do really like the red what I do is I put some bling on it put some little um Diamantes in between it, so I'm going to have it kind of. It can't cover the sentiment, so it's literally just sitting just on. I'm just going to grab a couple of embellishments. Raiding again, my mum's embellishment drawers. Let's see what we've got in here. So they're nice because they kind of go. They're all silver, I don't really want silver. It'll be gold. My pearl. The pearly colour could be quite nice. Let me just grab the other drawer. I've got one more drawer. What the that does sound fun, yeah. <laughs> um oh I've got a glittery one here. Um, many. Mm, not sure about that one. No, I think I'm going to stick with one of these because they've got a really, it might be hard for you guys to see it in the camera but it's it's all kinds of like oranges, yellows and it's almost got green to it as well when they catch the light. So I'm going to use a couple of these dotted on the card but I'm going to put one right in the centre of the butterfly. Oh, if I can get it there. Just sit it nicely there in the middle. It's really quite 3D as well, this card now as well, which you should see when I lift it up. I'm just going to pop a little bit of glue. Um, can I use? I haven't got... I'll just squirt a little bit on the end of this. I just want to pop it underneath to stick that down there a bit. I've got one there and then I'm just going to use these as if they were sequins and just pop a couple. They've got like a plastic that runs all the way through so I'm just cutting that out otherwise if you lift up one you lift the whole strip up so I'm just going along just cutting a few off so it makes them easier and you can just kind of tuck under the put like the sticky bit on the back so let's put one there and then just the finishing touches now and then I'll bring all those cards back into let's do one there Do another one there. Yeah, there we go. I am happy with that. So let's just bring this one up a bit closer. And you can see now, also what would be good, I've actually run out, I've got another one on order, is some Wink of Stella. If you just brush the Wink of Stella over all of these, that would really make them pop as well. But I'm super pleased with that. That was kind of completely done. Um, you know off the cuff you guys kind of have, have contributed a lot to that one so thank you and um, I'm really pleased with that so I'm just going to pop it in again some cellophane so it's all protected and I will bring in all the others to show you what I've done thank you Nina thank you Anne Tangled dies must have sold out on the words. Oh no, really? 
Oh, nearly caught my butterfly there. Keep look, they always do update. There's always new stuff going on because um, I'm on there regularly and um, I'm sure they'll come back in. But if you also just type in rectangle dies on eBay, um, you'll probably get them on there as well. Okay, let's pop that one back. Lovely, we'll play with my set of dies now. Where can we see the shiny? And there we can see the shiny. Oh, now we can see it. All right. <laughs> Um, let's just pop this one back and I'll bring them all in. So for those of you that didn't see this one right at the beginning, this is the Twisted Easel card that um, I showed at the beginning and then we made it. So I'll show the one that we made because I wanted that one to dry before I put it away. So that one is, oh, just grab it. Oh gosh, that was my mum's card. I'll show you that one in a minute as well. Um, so this is the one that I made earlier. Ooh, that goes the scrap folder again gorgeous but I think I'm going to add some more Winkostella to these when I get them but absolutely love that that's got a real shine to it so again I'm just going to pop that one in its packaging and again these ones look lovely when they're closed um, where's that oh it's a spare um, see that's how it will be when the person opens it so it looks really nice in as well two seconds where did you buy the sleeves these sleeves are from the works you get a pack of 45 in each pack for a pound i believe um but i always put mine in them because it just protects them straight away and then so yes yeah, so that was the one we made today along with that one so i'm really pleased with those two thank you guys for helping put those together and then that one this wonderful shaker card which i absolutely love all the fonts are the downloadable fonts, um, sentiment story from the magazine. If you go on the website and I've used the red ones there, again, looks lovely. That was another.